Hey everybody and welcome back to Sonic Cat Plays Adam RPG, this is episode 66. Now if you watched the last episode, might have been a little bit boring, but this episode will not be. Let's get started, shall we? Um, check this out. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm just, okay, you're right in the way. I just wanted to actually stand like right here and just, I just wanted like an opening, just get dunked on. Watch this. Oh. Why is it 56? Am I going to shoot Hexogen? Hexogen, can you move? Yeah, thanks, buddy. Really appreciate it. There we go. Goodbye. He's still alive. That was not how I wanted that to go. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, rest of the team, good luck. Those are so fast. All right. Well, he's dead. All right. My turn. Uh, I can move here. I'm... Yeah, that's just going to end poorly. Uh, I don't want to move into the doorway either because then I'm gonna get shot. So let's just intern. We'll let this guy come up here. Ah, uh, he's dead. It's called a blood root. So they're plant monsters. That's what it seems like is going on here. I'm not gonna pick up the meat because if I start picking up all this meat, it's just gonna be an, a, a, my backpack is gonna be full of meat all the time. Headshot! Wow. I'm really expecting to do more damage than this. Oh no, there was one. What? What is that? What is that? What is happening? What? What? What is this? I don't like this. Okay. Okay, so we have some unintended, uh... Wow. All right, well, get dunked on. I brought my shot. That did, oh no. Oh no, these things are so mean. How did he manage to shoot that? Okay, let's back it up out of the room for a quick moment here and just have a little a little team get together, please. A little team get together. What is happening? What? what? Oh, okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna let it, I'm gonna let it run out. I'm gonna let it run out because I can't have minus that many action points. So here's what we're gonna do. Not starting off great. There, it's already gone, perfect. Uh, okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do one or two things real quick here. Was wasn't prepared for that to happen. So let's see, Fidel, what do you got? What do you got for me, buddy? You have 15 cans of food. That is almost certainly going to encumber me. It sure did. How close are we? Perfect, Fidel. You can have those back. I appreciate you. This place is full of garbage anyway, so we'll just drop them there. Save, we reload it. Okay, so I gotta watch for those little dicks because that that could have gone real bad. That could, And I know they put that there just so that you would walk in here and not realize it. Oh, they're sneaky. Very sneaky, sis. Can I, oh! I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do an aim shot. And let me just get out of the way. Oh. Oh, they can't cross this. Uh-oh, I have, this is a mistake. This is a mistake. This is okay. Li listen, listen, listen. We're not about to run in there. This is not happening. This is not happening. Um, can I shoot that guy from here? If they run in there, they're gonna they're gonna attract every single monster in the entire. Woo, 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 woo. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna wait. Let him come to us. Our team is gonna reorg here. Because otherwise they're gonna sprint into that room and just... Oh, he's not moving. F fudge. Okay, I guess we gotta. Uh, can I come in here? Okay, that's kind of annoying. I can't open the door. What am I supposed to do? Move. You, there. Half my team isn't even in combat right now. I can't... Oh, unlock. Okay, 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 there we go. Open. 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 Why do you have to stand all the way over there? It's fine. Uh, let's just check the room. Yeah, we're fine. I would love to be out of combat right now. There is no reason for me to be in combat right now. Fidel, 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 buddy. No, 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 no. 
Alexander. I can't get out of... Oh, we're going to have to open it. Can we, can we check this guy out? What's going on here? You don't have enough action points. Okay, well, I will. Okay, let's just use this guy. He is... I really was hoping I would be able to steal one of those jumpsuits. All right, Fidel's about to open this door. Not if I stand here. Okay, just kidding. He definitely just opened the door and went in. Fidel, please. Oh, God. Okay, well, this took a turn. One down. I guess I'm coming into the room because otherwise... Oh, please don't shoot me. Oh, good. That's good. That's good, Hexton. You come in from that way. That way you don't shoot this weak nonsense. I'm about to shotgun this guy in the mouth. Wow, this place would really mess you up if you were not prepared. You have got to go. Oh, you're shooting past me and I don't like it. Okay, no, we're fine. Everything is just fine. Everything here is fine. Eh, that guy's not in combat yet somehow. Okay, he is now. They are so fast. And super dead too. Fidel, you don't need to do that, man. We can be out of combat for like, you know, a couple seconds. Come over here. Please. I hate, I hate that we're still in combat. It's because this door, I think, is locked. It's locked, and he's going to go try and open it right now. And I can't have him opening it right now. Well, actually... Okay, so we all reloaded. Cool. Fidel is going to do this, and then he's going to run straight for that door. Fidel is the only one here in combat. This is weird. I really do not think we should be in combat right now. Okay, look at this. Unlock this. Fidel's gonna open this door. Greetings! Hello, how are you? Hey, so this is hilarious, but, uh, goodbye. Welcome to Earth. Uh, really? He survived that? Okay, let's try it. Welcome to Earth! Oh my god, another one of these... Yeah, you go, Alexander. Cool. Let's all just go way back here so we don't start another combat. Oh, right. Hold on. Let's back up for a second. I just want to make sure because I was in combat this whole room. I just want to make sure I didn't miss any lootables, but it does not look like we did. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. This room seems fairly safe. You go over the threshold when suddenly a glass jar breaks over your head, covering you in stinking chemicals that seem to be gasoline mixed with melted rubber. Seconds later, a match shoots straight out of, at you out of a a small pencil and rubber a small rubber and pencil crossbow. I got poisoned. Thankfully, the match isn't burning, so your life is safe. Still, getting hit in the head with a flask, getting gasoline in your eyes and your mouth isn't too healthy. You vomit and bend over in pain. Cool. We are really poisoned. Check this out. Not anymore. 83 is good enough. Fidel, how are you doing? He's actually pretty okay. Hexogen. 63 out of 100. 71 out of 100. 79. 87. This just means I don't have to use, uh, and he's fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, so let's reload this. Oh, boy. This place, man, if you came in here by yourself, you just, you just be boned. I, I don't know what else to say. You just be boned. Okay, drugs. Fidel, there you go. Fidel, there you go. Do you want, like, one of these knives? 
There you go, buddy. You got one of those fancy knives. Oh, what is this? Saliva scleria. Well, I have a bottle of saliva scleria now. I don't know what that means. I don't know what it does. But we sure got one. Uh, okay, let's... Oh, there was another guy over here. Almost missed it. That'll come in handy. Oh. Come on. Fidel, there you go. Also, these are probably... No, they're not even that... Oh, no, I can't do that. You cannot have those. <laughs> I forgot that he had those. That, that was going to be a real quick way to waste all of that ammo immediately. Okay, what next? So this next room is going to be okay. There's a lot of those little... Those little shits in this next room. Here's what I think we should do. Everyone huddle up here, okay? We're going to go in here. And we are just going to... What are we going to do? What are we going to do? We want to go into this... No, we probably want to clear this out first. Beeline for here. Oh, it worked. Don't, don't get in common. No, 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 no! Hexogen, stop! Fuck! Are you out of your fucking mind? Hexogen, you deserve to die. You honestly just deserve to die. Good luck, buddy. I believe in you. Why? I missed. Well, Hexogen, it was good knowing you. Goodbye, you're gonna die. You're an idiot. I... That's great. Waste all the drugs that are expensive that I gave you. That's terrific. I really appreciate that. Let's try and get the rest of my team involved in this fight now. Because Hexogen is a freaking idiot. I don't, I don't even feel bad for him. It's your own damn fault. For some reason, he decided that, like, his best course of action... Trying to help you out, buddy, but you're the dummy who ran in there. Oh, my God. What a freaking... Just, it's so upsetting. Hexogen, you, you, that's your problem. You, you have to deal with that. I am, I, that's not. Oh, dunked on. That is a Hexogen specific problem. I'm not even going to recognize this as a thing that I'm going to worry about. You feel freaking good about yourself, Hexogen? You. How are you so dumb? Like how, buddy? It wasn't that hard. Oh, what's this say? Uh, please. Whoever uh, can speed and or read what I believe is Russian, please let me know what this means. That would be very helpful. Thank you. Okay. We're gonna save again. There's a dead guy there. Where? I wish you guys would quit doing that. I don't feel like they did this before. They just keep trying to find the worst paths, and there's nothing I can do to stop them from doing it once they go. So there's actually nothing in here that I can use? Yeah. I'm not picking up anything. Okay, so we will go over there in a second, but let's finish. Is this locked? It's like, as soon as one of them is in the doorway, you see? They just stop in the doorway for some reason. And then it may <sighs> That needs to be fixed. That's a big problem. That could so... That, it's just... That's gonna get people killed. Constantly. If, uh, if Hexogen didn't have as much health as he has, and we weren't the level that we were, he would have he would have been dead right now, already. What is that? 
Okay. Are you guys gonna be dumb again? Now I'm worried. You know what? Let's just let's just do this a, a different way. Instead of doing walking into that room, which is almost certainly gonna cause my dumb idiot teammates to run some dumb direction, I'm gonna kill all of the enemies first and then move on. Victor can trust that computer for his all he wants, but I'll continue to insist. One malfunction in the ventilation system and all the circuit boards and all of his knowledge base will be oxidized by the moisture coming from the greenhouse. It's with this understanding that I ask you all to copy the formula of the composite germicide which can stop these crazy vineyards that I helped to create, although I could have been doing something more productive with my life if I returned in GDR at the objective 05. Also, just in case I have a vial of this chemical in my safe, the code is as simple as my name. Now for the formula. One part saliva sclerea, one quarter less of the turbina corombosa extraction, two parts of diacetylodihydromorphine, two phase preparation, coagulation and centrifuge and dissolvement in spirits. Hans. So the code is Hans for his name. We're gonna need to keep that because we're obviously gonna need to build a, what I imagine is gonna be a, an insecticide it sounds like. We will get to that in a moment. Oh, we may not be able to shoot that at all. Okay, that leads into the, okay, 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 okay. Wait, is this fine? This is fine. Check this out, reload. Headshot from downtown. He had no idea what hit him. Oh, what? Where did that thing come from? Yo, what? No, for real? Where did that come from? Where am I? Tell me I have a shot on this guy, please. I don't. I somehow... Uh. Exogen, where are you going, buddy? I... It's fine. I wish my shotgun took three AP or I had just one more AP. Ah, uh, get him. Way to go, buddy. Really put in that work. I appreciate you. How am I doing on ammo? Uh, we are actually running a little low. We are actually starting to run a little bit low on Dragnov ammo. I may switch to an SKS because we now have a surplus of SKS ammo, but a little bit light. Do we have a scoped SKS that no one is using right now? That is Dragnov ammo. Uh, Alexander, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Now you are still using, you have 64 shots before you're gonna switch to the SKS. So check this out. I will take the SKS. And, and, da, 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 da. who is using that, Fidel? Take that. I will switch to the SKS, just so we're not burning through all of that ammo. Because we need to, we need to moderate. Because we are a little tiny bit low. And once we get a bunch more Dragon of Ammo, we'll go back to it, it's fine. It's not gonna be a big deal. Okay, let's continue the exploration. We have not even gotten into the caves yet. Locked? The dresser's locked? I don't believe you. You didn't need to lock it for 25 rubles. It's really... Really not worth your time. If I'm being honest. Also, I read your guys' comments. And apparently one of the big things is that I should take... My... This experimental ammo over to... The guy uh, in our bunker who makes all our ammo. So there may be something that we can do with uh, teaching him how to maybe make it or getting him to make it, uh, something like that. So we will check in there once we are done here. I'm trying to make sure we got everything. All right, how many more enemies are in here? A couple at the very end, not too worried about them right now. We cannot get through this. 
Tall vines grow in your path. Even an axe or a large machete would not help against such sturdy plants. You need something much more potent than brute strength. Wave your hand dismissively and walk away. Inspect the barrier. It seems like all the plants are covered with green tinted human hair. You turn away and disc- Ugh. I can't see the target. That's weird because it's like literally the only thing in front of you, but that's fine. You know, you do you. I can't shoot that guy from here, really? Oh, it's because I don't have a scope, isn't it? Let's just go ahead and start the fight. We'll get him over here. Oh, Fidel, you just shot very, very close to my head and I did not appreciate that. I shot. 27 damage, not very much damage, but... Ah! Fidel! Oh, oxygen! Please. You guys really have to stop shooting by my head. It makes me very uncomfortable. Like a rolling stone, which is a lyric from a song, by the way, in case you didn't know that. But you guys probably knew that. I'm assuming we need... Is this for Hans? How would we... Locked. Uh, let's see. Alexander gets to carry the waste paper. We're gonna need to make a lot of ammo when we get back to the bunker. I'm really happy Alexander can hold on to all of this. I wonder how close we're gonna be to the end of the game after this. I We may be right on the cusp of the end of the game. And I'm not sure what to do after we would get there, to be honest. Um, if this was for Hans, H-A-N-S. Is it a phone? Okay, one moment. I have my phone here. Uh, H would be four, A would be two, N is six, and S is seven. You didn't manage to break the code. Well, can't say I didn't try. Guess we'll just do this. I wanted to just do, oh, diacetylmorphine. According to a sticker on the bottom, it was made in Afghanistan. Cool. Thin speechcraft. You want another pair of glasses? Neat. Let us continue. Uh, as long as not. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to save because I, a lot of these doors are still booby trapped, and I would much rather not just die due to some weird explosive. Hey, nothing exploded. That's always nice. I like it when you walk into a room and it doesn't immediately explode on you. That's kind of my favorite thing that, uh, that... Oh, right, skeleton. Strange thoughts. Five years I spent working on a way to transport data without it being detected by any electronic device or other complex machinery. I wanted to make some sort of mycelium, I guess, that could combine our test subject's mind into something like a net. It should have been an invisible general who would send very uncomplex, unburdened by the confines of morality and conscious commands to, into our soldiers' heads. Slice. Shoot. Burn. But the result of my work, or should I say mistake, doesn't give commands. Instead, it asks questions. Who am I? Who are you? Why are we here? It, gi it gives advice. Don't be angry. Don't shoot. Don't cry about her. She'll always live in your heart. It shows me green meadows and cold, salty shores of the Baltic Sea. And you know what, dear colleagues? I like it. So they created something, they were trying to create something for war, and it seems like they did something else. By the way, today's tea is brought to you by Straight Up Regular Oolong. I think it's Phoenix Mountain Oolong, actually. Either way, it is delicious. Please don't explode. I think if I say please don't explode, there's a less likely chance that it will explode. I think the game can hear you, you know? The game knows. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. What else do we got? I'm I'm interested in what other, like, really weird... 
What is that? Toilet paper. All right, well, that's less exciting. We're almost done. This episode, we should be able to clear the rest of the caves and stuff without too much trouble, honestly. Let's see, let's see, let's do this. Uh-huh, uh-huh, face mask, don't need that. Bathroom door, please don't explode on me. Please don't shoot like nails and bolts in an explosive shotgun blast. Man, if you ever needed toilet paper, this would be a great place to do it. Uh, right, and this then we're back where the guy tried to get through the, uh, the barricade and had his arms chopped off. Locked. Unlocked. Alarm clock. Don't really care about that. Don't know why it's in there locked. By the way, have you guys heard anything about the mod scene yet? That's just... And I guess we'll take it. Uh, I'm really interested in when the first kind of mods are going to start to come out. I don't know that they're... You know, I, first off, I don't really know how big the community for Adam is. Oh, no. Technology. You carefully, yeah, uh huh. A small crossbow powered by rubber bands and loaded with sharp pencils. Okay. Fidel, there you go. Thank you. Yeah, we haven't even gotten to this area yet. Hot damn. We should be able to, I assume, make it there after we kind of explore all of this stuff. Can I take a shower now? All right, in here we go. All that's in here is a rusty AK. Uh, rusty AK, rusty AK. Where did you go, rusty AK? There you go. More bullets for you. I cannot open this. It is still locked. I cannot loot the skeleton. So the only thing that we can do now... Oh, we need to do this area. Right, 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 right. I skipped this because I was afraid trying to walk in there. I was afraid that trying to walk in there, it would, uh... They would run around the corner and just aggro absolutely every single thing on the planet. Okay, let's go. What do we got? What do we got? A uh, locker. Single locker. Come on. You cannot defy me. What is this? Pre-war vodka and something else that I don't care about. Uh, okay, let's see what else we got here. We got a weird desk with some more. I mean, we're going to be able to make a lot of ammo after this. Fidel, that's for you. This is for me. Dear Arena, I will remind you that Private Ivanchenko may look very healthy indeed, but still, I do not allow you to release him from his bed. He must be kept there until you have my written permission to do so otherwise. If you'd only seen what happened to him that day on the 17th, Comrade scientist Dan Alevsky climbed to the top of the table in the mess hall and started to scream about the big bad military personnel that keeps them poor scientists down here for no reason, because there actually was no nuclear war. Sure enough, Private Ivanchenko intervened. As Ivanchenko tried to grab Dan Alevsky, the man produced a knife and threatened the private. Ivanchenko stuck the knife, struck the knife out of the scientist's hands and aimed his rifle at him. However, instead of shooting or hitting the scientist with a rifle, Ivanchenko simply screamed, don't shoot anyone even though he was the only armed man in the room. It's this mind control neural net thing. Dropped his weapon, grabbed a plate of gravy, went to the eastern wall of the mess hall and started painting the phrase, don't shoot on said wall using said gravy. Since then, he's been acting like a child, calling himself a boy scout. That's not a mental breakdown. That's complete insanity. That's why I want you to keep him locked up in the sick bay, Igor. So whatever they did here, it made people lose their minds. I'm not sure that anyone made it out of this uh, better than anyone else. I think everyone was equally affected. There you go. Oh, I used a, a med kit on him, didn't I? Ah, oh, that's not what I wanted. I was thinking that I had... It's fine. It's fine. Whatever. Did you just shut them out? That's weird. But okay, sure. Hey, uh, I'm the only one allowed to go in here. No one follow me. I really don't need those. So far, there's not 
not like a lot of super interesting stuff here, honestly. Oh, well, that's... Okay, well, this stuff is all very useful. But I, I guess I was... Wow. I guess I was expecting something a little bit more, you know? Like a lot of really cool guns, a lot of ammo and, and weapons, and... It just seems like... Uh, not too much is really going on here. What is this? My friend. My buddy never walks the halls because he only lives in walls. He sends me very pretty dreams, and when I do bad things, he screams. He tells me only, always, don't, do not shoot, because killing's a forbidden fruit. We will live with him forever, singing, dancing all together. Boy Scout Kostya Ivanchenko, eight years old. That dude, uh, lost his marbles. So it seems very much like people were just being corrupted. Uh, and there, there, it seems like there was just no escape. Like, if you were down in this bunker, after they developed this, you know, this neural net, uh, thing, that was it. You, you were, you were boned. Pretty sure I already looted this guy. Yeah. Okay, so there's only one more place for us to go in here, and it's this room. Wait, 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 hold on. What is that? Old gas mask. And this is just a regular old plant man. Plant monster. This door was blown open. Do you see that? Or uh, or destroyed somehow. One way or the other. I don't believe we have everything needed, though. I'm pretty sure we're still missing stuff. You blow away the dust that covered the screen of the strange contraption. It looks like a huge frame with buttons and various lab equipment attached to the manipulator arms that lie dormant on the other side of the glass. The device starts up. Welcome to the interface of the experimental portative mechanized laboratory, Esculap. Please insert any three samples into the slots. I don't have a third. What are we missing? Mm, 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 mm. Oh, these didn't organize these notes. Ah, crap. Uh, okay, not that. I have to find it now. I have so many notes. Where did it go? Right. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, prison, can you imagine the prison? Yeah, uh huh, uh huh. Notebook page, scientist notebook. Okay, one part saliva scleria, one quarter less of the turbina corombosa extraction. So we need turbina corombosa extraction. Where is that? Is that this possibly? No. Is that, no. So we have that, we have that. We're missing the other one. Where did we miss it? I mean, it must. Did we miss it in here? Nothing's even lighting up in here. We went in there. We went in there. Everything in there is looted, as we can see. None of these guys have anything. We already looted this guy, right? I think we looted him in combat. Did we miss a room? No, I don't see anything missed there. Where would it be? What is this? Is that a can I dropped on the floor? Yeah. Uh, and we came in from there. I mean, it should be somewhere. I mean, if it's going to be somewhere. It's going to be... Those are already looted. Nothing we can do here. That guy was already looted. Nothing here. Nothing here. Let's come back in here. Maybe we... Maybe I walked right by something? Locked. 
Oh, he probably has it in there. Um, that looks like straight poison. We're gonna save. Ah, uh, no. Ah, ah, ah. Do any of you have a gas mask? Of course not. Why would you have one of those? Are any of you wearing a gas mask for some reason? You have this. Well, guess what? It's mine now for the moment. Unless I have a gas mask. Which, of course, I do not. Uh, okay, check this out. Ah, uh, I'm gonna get poisoned and I'm gonna die. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There was a scientist with a gas mask. There was a scientist with a gas mask. Where was he? Where was Mr. Gas Mask Scientist? I remember we saw him. I just don't remember where he is right now. No, 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 no. No, that guy's empty. It must have been in one of these rooms back here. Alexander, what are you doing? Oh, this guy right here. Perfect. Okay. This will at least help us a little bit. So hopefully we don't like just instantly die. Let's save. Use. Now the question is. Oh, okay. We have limited time here. Let's get out, please. Let's get out, please. Everyone get out, please. All right. That wasn't awful. And I should have. I should, I should, I should. Adele, I know you have like a million of these. So these guys cannot actually be poisoned, it looks like. How can I... Okay, let's... Drop 44 of those. Fidel, put those back in your inventory. Uh, I need to... <laughs> I need to go back in there. Melodonin. Oh, that's not what I needed. Okay, let's just do this. I don't want them to stop me from being able to uh, get back out of here quickly. Okay, let's save again. When we go back in here, I'm just gonna have to pick up all of that stuff. Let's go in. Please? Please? Take it, take it, take it. Take it. Use that. There's nothing else in here. Uh, okay, I'm confused. I'm very confused. We didn't need melodonium, right? No. What? Okay. Where did we miss it? Turbina Corambosa Extraction. Turbina Corambosa Extraction. I don't know where this is. I would imagine it would be in one of these rooms, but I can't interact with anything else. 
I thought for sure it would be in there. Did I just miss it? Is it on the floor like way over here? Hold on, let's stand here. My team will wait for me. They're not they're not going anywhere. We're gonna have to really scour. Okay. Let's take a real good look in here. Nothing there. There's this guy, but maybe... I suppose it could have been behind him? But I don't see anything that's even glowing. Shoot! I thought for sure that would have been it. Okay, we gotta do this again. Let's go stand right in this corner, and then we'll open up. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go in there encumbered. Why are we encumbered? Is it because we picked up all those drugs? Ah, uh, this is annoying. They'll take those. Okay, save. Stand here. Let's just scan. I mean, it, it, it definitely could be right behind him. No, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Not a single thing. What is... Oh, I just dropped that. Right, of course. Uh, okay. Okay, I guess we're gonna go... Oh! There we go. That is fucking invisible. I'm sorry that... Uh, I shouldn't have said that. The Google DeepMind language filter. You know gonna pin my video for saying that oh okay where did it actually go uh what is oh there we go okay now we have it i can't believe i didn't see that i mean i can believe it. it's kind of really hidden you know one part saliva sclerea one quarter less of the turbina corambosa Two parts of the dye, whatever. One part sclerea. Let's start there. Hold on, actually. Let's just save here, because we made a lot of progress. One point sclerea. Purple liquid, which... Pink fluid. Purple substance, okay. Purple is one part. Purple liquid, one part. You carefully pour the oily liquid into the opening. A red light lights up in the corner of the display. A new message reads, sample taken. Oh, we just have to... Uh, and then... The pink liquid. You carefully pour the pink liquid into the opening. A yellow light lights up in the corner of the display. A new message reads, sample taken. Then the powder. You carefully pour the gray powder. A green light lights up in the uh, message reads, sample taken. Press a random button. The screen fades for a second, but then a new message appears. Molecular analysis finished. Combination of samples may be used to create the experimental herbicide solution of Yanush Voltsen. J Volt. Start making it. Diamorphine. Uh the diamorphine. I can't open that that letter. I can't. Hold on. We'll be fine. Did it just reorganize my inventory for some reason? Two parts diamorph. Hold on. One part sclerea, two parts diamorphine. Let's just do this. Okay, so two parts diamorphine. Sclerea is one. And then a quarter less of the other thing. Choose preparation method and press the start key. Ah, uh, I forgot to read that part. We gotta go back to the note. I'm sorry that I'm doing this so poorly. Two phase preparation, coagulation and centrifuge and dissolvement in spirits. Coagulation then dissolvement. Okay, let's do this again. Here we go, start making. Two parts diamorphine, one part that, 
Quarter less that. Coagulation. Beep and shaking and thrashing. The device begins the creation process. Numbers and letters start running on the screen. They have no meaning for you. Finally, the sound resembling a train whistle. The device stops with a small sealed canister comes out of the, uh, the device frame. A message appears on the screen. Operation successful. Wait, aren't we supposed to also do the other part of it? We were supposed to also dissolve in spirits. We're not gonna save just in case that was wrong. Let's continue. That was weird because we we didn't do the the whole thing. Let's go. Let's just see if it works. I'm not gonna save yet because I don't know. Okay. It's up to you, comrade herbicide. Oh, it looks like it worked. The vine starts trembling later on undulating, just like tentacles. Moments later, they begin to blacken and die as if burned by an unseen fire. You throw away the empty herbicide canister. The path is now open. Well, would you look at that? Okay, it worked. Perfect. Let's save. We will reload. We're almost out of time, but I think we can finish this now. I mean, I'm going to try to finish this now. Let's go. Let's go. I don't know what else we're going to find in this cave. Oh, this episode's gonna run real long because I just realized we have to go through the red uh, district as well, or the red the red area. But that's fine. We're gonna we're gonna do all of this. Uh, first off, though, we're gonna do that. And Fidel, you can hang under the gas mask if you really want to. You didn't even wear it. Whatever. It's up to you, man. I'm not gonna force you to wear something you don't want to wear. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Did not realize that guy was standing here. Headshot. Not a bad, not, not bad damage. Not bad damage. They're so fast. Oh, dead. Oh, wow, you managed to not even shoot each other. You guys are amazing sometimes. Every once in a while when you manage to like not shoot each other directly in the mouth, I'm always super impressed. Get him. Way to go. Top notch. Nothing. Uh, do we want to go left first? Yeah, we do, because it's a dead end. Let's just check it out. Just making sure, you know, that, like, nothing is just hiding here or whatever. We want to make sure to, uh, to scan these areas as, as much as we... Okay, let's not walk into that. Let's go ahead and save. And let's also do another save because we haven't, you know, done another one of those after we did that entire procedure. This guy just keep... You... Oh, there we go. I shot. I'm sad that I'm not doing nearly as much damage as I was with the Dragnov. I swear to God, these guys just pop up out of nowhere. Next is going to be those ones. Let's stand, like, here. Headshot. Alright, we got three of them. That's no problem. Boom. Get them. Finish them. Excellent. My turn. Oh, I can't see that guy from here. Two. Perfect. I shot. Okay, well, you know, what are you gonna do? Please don't shoot me. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Let's see. We got one there. So let's walk over here so we can get a clear, easy shot at this guy. I shot. Oh, this guy popped up. I can't shoot him, though, at all. He's gonna hit me. Oh, no. He shot someone else. Hexogen. Hexogen, I appreciate you taking all that damage for us. Yo, good shot. Good teamwork. Good, good shots, good teamwork, good working together, which is also known as teamwork. That way is going to be a long way. So what is back here? A dead end? Perfect. Let's check out the dead end. Is it as dead as it seems? Yeah, it's definitely as dead as it seems. It's it's, like, it's just a regular dead end, guys. Don't, don't worry about it. Ah, I'm getting parched. Doing these hour-long episodes... Your throat, you know? 
Okay, okay, what do we what do we what do we got here? We got a group of about five of them. Do that. Do I have a shot on this? Oh stop, stop, stop. He moved right when I was about to shoot. I shot. Yeah, the problem is without a scoped SKS, my crit rate is is lower by a good percentage. Move here. I shot. I like opening the fight. Yeah, see that crit was like 63 damage where if we were using our Dragnov, would have been like 200, which would an instant death. All right, I don't like this. Get him, Fidel, or not, that's fine. I can't shoot that guy because I'm weak because of that damn plant. Shotgun is still an effective choice. Get him, Fidel. All right, that was less. I mean, that worked. We got our level, boys. We're gonna hold on to those points, as I told you when we started this, because we may need them to work on some computer equipment. We have a dead guy here that is nothing on his body. And this is a dead end. Let's just, you know, we're getting close just so we can hold down the alt key to see if there's anything there, you know? And I'm a little bit low on health. A little tiny bit, not much. Take that. And those. I'm not sure what else we're gonna find in here, to be honest. Fidel, you can have those back. Thank you, sir. All right, so this is the area that we could not get into. Uh, and this is where this entire thing was leading to. So, I assume there's going to be a big quest deal here. So let's check on everyone. How's everyone doing? You're fine. You are, I mean, you're fine. Actually, yeah, there, that's fine. I'm not gonna trade a bunch of Casparamid just to heal them for like the tiny amount of damage they've taken. Lots of dead bodies. Not much going on in there. This guy had a knife, right? Yeah, a knife and some glue. Okay, let's hold down control. I just want to... Oh, this. This is it. This... This is the quest. Right there. 100%. Alright, let's take a step in and see what we got. Alright, well, you know, just... Just slowing me down here, you know? Actually, I just had a thought. I just had a thought. So here's the deal, right? We're about to walk in there. And the thing is, is that there may be a crazy fight. So I'm switching back. So I'm switching back to our Dragnov because I need to be able to do that damage, that real damage. I need to be able to just destroy, I'm um, encumbered really? By how much? Barely any. Okay, well, fixed it. It's all that wire we're carrying. Huh. Rod and toadstool. I don't need that. Go check these. I think we're coming up on the end of the quest here. More wires. I, I, contrary to popular belief, I do not need more wires. I'm actually set on the amount of wires that I need. Let's go check this out first. Can we open this? Door sealed. I thought it was sealed from this side. Why can't I unseal it from this side? Locked. Okay, well, unlocked. Oh, also we got a message here. Okay, Any, anyone who reads Russian, please, this. What is that? And we'll call this the um, the Red Wing office. So you can say, hey, I, the, in the Red Wing office, it says blah, blah, blah. Some text is still visible on the old faded dusty display. Welcome to the OWL operating system, Comrade Lipkin. I remind you that your designated bulkhead door is sealed. You have one, comma, two unread messages. Under there is a C command line waiting for your input. Um, open, bulkhead door, send command. Wrong command. 
Okay. Open. Bunker. Send command. Okay. Open. Message. Send command. What? Message one. Continue doing your job. No panic allowed. Open another message. Message two. Keep your eyes on Skvortsov. Skvortsov. He's the cause of most of our trouble. That's an order straight from General Pet Petushkov. Okay. If bulkhead door closed, then open. Send command. Yes. Leave. Perfect. That door is now open. We can now leave. No big deal. What else is here? You got a uh, cup of coffee? Just a little, like, a regular cup? Glass. Okay. We don't really care about that. It's a regular glass. Got the door open. Read the messages. We've looted him. We've looted these. There is a terminal there. We will get to that in just a moment. Corporate accounts payable. Nina speaking. Just a moment. Did you guys ever see the movie Office Space? It was a Mike Judge movie from... The late 90s? Early 2000s? Highly recommend it if you have not seen the movie Office Space. Go see the movie Office Space. It's a comedy about um, basically the what it's like to live at or work in you know a cubicle in an office. And it's just, it's so accurate, it's, it's just, it's scary. And it's very funny. Had Jennifer Aniston in it when she was like pretty early in her career, too. As a waitress who was very unhappy with her job. Okay, what else we have? What else we got? Let's go loot this guy. This is it. This is the last room in this entire place. This is it. We're gonna save. We're gonna do another save. Let's use the computer. Technology! We finally have enough to do cool stuff. You know a lot about pre-war tech. That's why you understand how to use the strange operating system 2.0b, which looks so much different than the user-friendly OWL 1. The display of the computer dimly glows in the dark. Seems like it was used by the personnel of the bunker for temporary data storage. After searching through the database, database I think should be one word, you notice that all the research files were sent to the master computer located in the bio labs. Considering the state of the large computer you passed by on your way here, these documents cannot be viewed anymore. But the temporary database still holds at least some information about the things that went on in here. Better than nothing. Okay. Projects A to R. After you pick this option, you see the following choices. Let's go Project V2. Project Re V2 start 0383. Does that mean March of 83? Project scrapped. Goal of project, adapting popular crops for underground. Partial success. Crops need a lot of UV light. Notice some mutations. Addendum. Mutated strains led to creation of stable hybrids. See Project Hleborod. Hlebr... Lee Borrod. Back. Project Mycelm. Hold on. My lips are like the most chapped things on the planet. I've solved it. Mycelm. This was started January 83. Project Scrap. Gulf's project. Study the fungal biomass that was accidentally discovered during Project Stakanovitz. Results unclear. Possible psychological damage to staff. Mass may or may not have a high level of intellect. Okay. Addendum. Sent samples to other installations under the BDP-4 Act. Okay. Project Mausoleum. Started October of 84. Scrapped January 86. Goal of project. Uses of dead human and animal organs and tissues in Project Stakanovitz. Results unclear. Active functions of some organs return. CNS functions cannot be revived. Test subjects inadequate. They were trying to, like, revive dead people or use their organs? Let's go to the next one. So, St Stakanovets is the big project here. Project start January 80. Scrapped in 87? That's so long. Designing a combat unit capable of surviving without food, water, first aid, sleep, higher average morale to be used in place of standard... So they were trying to make super soldiers. Why does anyone ever try this? It always goes poorly. You've seen the movies. Results mixed. Tech subject do not require sustenance. Sleep, first aid, high morale, lock control. Lifespan two to three days. Far too short for practical use. Need further resources. Solnstev... Solnstevorot. Okay. Uh, started January 85. Scrapped January 87. Goal of project. Ability to use plant created in V2 and Hleborod projects for the needs of projects to Canavets. 
Creation of plant-based artificial organ capable of feeding test subject organism through photosynthesis. Failure. Necrosis of test subject tissue start in day three. Addendum, none. Leberod. Project start 8, uh, August 84. Project scrap January 91. Now I thought everyone, I thought everyone died in 90 because the, the war hit 87 and they survived for three more years. Someone survived past when almost everyone else had died, I think? Goal of project, check the hybrid plant creating the V2 project for the ability to provide edible fruit. Uh, failure, fruit of plant hybrid or helebrod one, small and poisonous. Addendum none. Turn to the options. Okay. So they were doing a lot of testing and weird work. What is this? I can't really... It's, it's all in Russian, and I have no idea what it says. It's too small, unfortunately. Okay, boys, are you ready? Let's do this. Let's do this. It's the only place that we can't see in the entire bunker. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no, that's what I was worried about. Okay, here we go. You open a door leading into a small hallway and discover a group of armed men. They look at you confused. Finally, their leader... A tan, thin man, look, looking very, very familiar, opens his mouth. Stop! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Sonic Cat, what the hell are you doing here? You start digging through your own memories, and yeah, you remember him. Although he was dressed much differently back then, it's definitely him. One of General Morozov's men, whose photos were featured in the case file you were given prior to being sent out on your missions. His name is Leopold. Fidel, you're here too? How come? What the hell is going on? That's what we will have to learn. And who's that over there? Cadet Alexander? Cut off my legs and call me a shorty. How do you even know me? And who's this grandpa with you? Grandpa, pfft. I would ask for more respect, young man. Before you stands not some grandparent, not some old timer, but an aged intellectual, a man of harsh destiny. Trudov, the Soviet writer known as this modern age as Hexogen. Um, I was sitting here by the mycelium society. What are you doing? Oh, whoa, well, you're also a member? Glad to hear that. I was afraid you'll open fire or something. <laughs> well, I mean, I still might. Well, how should I put it? We're here on a mission from the scientific society. We were, uh... Sent to find a very important, um, a thing. What's going on around here? I would also like to know, what's the thingy? Fine, listen, the Mycelium Society sent us here to find some sort of fungal mass. According to the map we provided, it should be straight ahead, but what do they need it for? What's the butt? I don't really know, honestly, but we think we sacked Bunker 317 looking for it. I remember some of the boys carrying a container out of that place and delivering it straight to Krasno. And the butt I mentioned, talk about that some other time. Well, what happened to the expedition? You want to know the truth? Honestly, I don't know. They just left me here guarding the destroyed door so no mutant would get into the lab as we search it. Everything was nice and quiet before I noticed a silhouette in the shadows. It was shaped like a human, but it had antennae, just like a giant ant. I wanted to take out the radio and warn everyone they might have problems, but then, from the depths of the bunker, I started hearing gunshots. I had a simple order. Stand here, guard the entrance, and I did just that. After a while, some of the guys came back. They looked pretty grim. All those who returned to the entrance were members of the mycelium. They said there was a misunderstanding with the other half of the troops. Sad, so sad that. And then we traveled to the mycelium bidding in Krasno together with our cargo. What was our cargo? I believe that the scientist of Bunker 317 studied the same thing that was also studied in this place, some kind of a mushroom-based life form. Maybe that wasn't the only thing they studied, but we were sent to get just that and nothing more. What the mycelium wants to do with this living mushroom is unknown to me. They open up their secrets to the higher ranking people. I don't have the clearance. Are you also a defector? What? No. Why are you insulting me like that? Don't you know that most of Adam's top tier men are already members of Mycelium? Secretly, of course. Adam is doing great things. Sure, but every year it grows weaker. Our xenophobia and fear of op openly contacting the people the waste makes us crumble with age. Mycelium, on the other hand, also, although also a secretive organization, works openly and transparently, all the while sharing somewhat even perfecting our ideals. Silence covers the hallway. Mycelium members look at each other grimly. You look at everyone trying to prepare yourself for anything. Once again, the former member of Morozov squad starts speaking, his voice trembling a bit. Hey, so there's this uh, awkward situation. Um, we sent a man to the room ahead, but he still has not come back. We don't really know why, and maybe there's radiation or something, or poison gas, or even machine gun turrets. It's hard for me to ask, but can you go check on him? Quite the leader you are, my dude. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But see, this is a very important mission. We need to avoid deaths among our ranks. So, so you don't want to risk your men 
but you're okay with sending me in. Great. You know what? I think I'll butcher you all right here, right now. Yeah, sure, I'll go do it. We're gonna save. We're gonna save. There's no reason why we can't still butcher all of them. Oh wait, can I steal from them? What is that? Uh, what? A pole jack. A single shot pistol made to use the heavy 12 millimeter shells as ammo. Probably not factory made. Indeed, it looks like something created by a skilled craftsman who used a heavy hunting carbine as the base for his invention. Mycelium code. I already have that. I don't have that. I want that. We're gonna save. We're gonna try to steal it. It's ours. That's rad. Fidel, hold on to that. Thank you. Next. <laughs> Who else in here has anything worth stealing? Uh, so they are running armor piercing rounds and they have... I don't like that they have grenades. I do not like that they have... Well, they don't have grenades anymore. I'm going to see if I can't rid them of all their... Of everything that they're going to use to try and murder us, should this go sideways, which it probably is going to go sideways. Spiked club. Uh, we'll just... Okay. That's fine. We've still stolen a lot of... I don't want you having this. Or this. Or any of that, actually. Perfect. Yeah. Hey, Fidel, guess what? Got some more... I, yeah, Molotov for you. Grenade. We're still encumbered. Can you just hold on to these? And then let's stand uh, right behind this guy. He has a club or something? I don't want these guys to be able to heal themselves. Okay, we stole pretty much everything important, a lot of their ammo and all that other stuff. I am going to get rid of... S uh, let's see, what else can I... Can you hold on to the dice? And the gunpowder can go there, and that can go there. Perfect. Alright, we're ready to do this. We are ready to do this. Save. Save again. Open it. Oh! Oh! The man before you does not move a muscle as you loudly open the huge door. He just stands there looking at a glass jar containing something. You move forward with caution. Hey, dude, are you okay? Uh, no, he's not okay. Do you see those eyes? The man quickly turns around and makes several steps towards you. You take a, a few involuntary steps back. The eyes of this mycelium member glow with a weird green fire. He starts talking to you and you could swear that an echo of his voice shoots straight inside your head replacing your own thoughts. I'm Peachy, who are you? I'll punch you straight in the nose. That'll teach you even more stuff about me. My name is Sonicat. Go on, get your stuff together. The voice type and manners of the man speaking to you are very obscure. You can't concentrate on him. Yes, that really is your name. I know why you're here, Sonicat. Please, let these people move me away from here. Who? Weren't you with them from the start? Me? No, I'm not the one you're talking to. I'm speaking to you through this man. Easier this way. This man did not leave the chamber for so long because we talked. He told me of the world above, and I told him of my own findings. Okay, you want to share that with me? I do not have that much information. I live, I think I know myself. I was born and raised in this bunker. I saw it fall. I tried to keep it from descending into anarchy, but I was too weak. The things that drive men, fear, loneliness, and anger, turned out to be stronger than my will. I kept them from killing each other, but one after the other, in mere days, they broke the conditioning. Madness overwhelmed the people of the bunker. Violence, so much violence. So many lives lost for no reason, so I fell asleep. But recently, something awoke me from my slumber, a distant calling to get to the city of Krasno. I need more intel. Why do you want to go there? I know that a nice lie would push you in the right direction, but I'm not a liar. I'll tell you honestly. I don't know. The only thing I do know is that I need to get there to Krasno. A lot depends on it. Something really terrible could be at stake. Please let these men take me away from here. Oh... So here's what we know, right? We know that this shit mind controls people. But from all of the intel that we have gathered through this entire trip, 
We do know that it tried to stop everyone from killing each other. It tried. But it also drove people insane. Like the one guy thought he was a Boy Scout who was eight years old. No, I don't know what you are supposed to be, and I'm not here to tempt fate. I don't want to get into a... F I think we should just let them take it. I'm interested as to what happens if we let them take it. I'm going to let them take it. You know what? I'm going to let them take it. One mind-controlled guy, he couldn't keep order. So here's, here's the other thing we know, right? It's not powerful enough to stop everyone from doing everything. It couldn't even contain a bunker, control all the people in the bunker, right? So it can't be powerful enough to, you know, control a whole city. Let's just let them take it. Thank you. Well, I cannot say why. I know that you made the right decision here. Please take this. With puppet-like movements, the man produces a crumpled piece of paper from his pocket. I believe it would only be fair to give this to you. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, farewell. Every other mycelium member walks inside the chamber as if by some silent command. The men start loading the creature from the glass talk into a metal container. You look at their actions dazed. Without saying a word, the men finish their packing and run out. The man who talked to you previously follows them. There's no more fire in his eyes. He looks normal and peaceful as if under some sort of sedative. The small hall is completely empty. You're alone. Well, that was simply too much. And I have very high standards for calling things too much. I saw communism. Why did you have to wake me up? Oh, Dios mio, what does it even mean? What happened here? It feels like I was half asleep in this voice. This voice like the rustling of leaves sounded in my head. You're so boring, Fidel. What does it matter? There's no rush. We'll deal with it later. Is the worm talking in you or you, have you always been so reckless? What do you mean reckless? I think we'll just cross that bridge when we come to it. Alexander, I love you like my own son, but shut up, please. I have some idea. I, know, I have no idea what we were, I mean, I have some ideas. Good for you, but hell, even those atom fighters who took, who seriously worked for mycelium, I wonder how many more such people there are. Yeah, I've definitely lost control over the situation while I was sitting at the bar like a hermit. I'm not sure we'll be able to sort it all out, really. There are definitely forces at work here we've never imagined. Hey, cheer up. Why this defeatist attitude? You might not fill me up on all the details of your assignment. I'm not asking for this, but anyone would long since, would be long since dead in our place. And we're like Soviet champions, like internationalist warriors always soldiering on. Crap, Hex. I'm not complaining. I'm just speaking my mind. Speaking out of line. Okay, okay, take it easy. My boot will have a date with this ass of this force. I don't believe in our success myself. It's fine, we'll cope, just like we did before. Of course we will, there's no doubt about that. Okay, that's better. We did it. So they loaded it. And there's nothing else in here that we can do. Ah, damn. Yeah, there's nothing else in here. None of this is interactable. That's it. I'm really happy we stole that gun from that guy. Because we may not have gotten another chance to do it. Uh, because the I think the only other option, right, would be if... Um, would be if you killed them all, right? You could take it if you killed them all. But other than that, uh, there would really be no way to get that. So I'm glad we got that. We finished up the bunker. I'm not gonna walk outside because it may trigger like a cutscene or something else happening. So with that, I know this episode was crazy long. Right, the bricks. I know this episode was super long. Right now it's saying an hour and 15 minutes. I may cut out little tiny pieces of it, but for the most part, it, it's this is gonna be a long episode. I hope that you guys enjoyed. We have progressed now the main quest. We have to go back to Krasno. We're on what I believe is the main quest to the end of the game now. But we'll probably do some other stuff now because we moved the main quest forward. So now let's do some other side quests, right? So a lot more combat. We need a lot more ammo. We got some new guns. Lots of stuff to do. There's no shortage of content in this game. And again, when modding starts to really happen, there's going to be so much more. And hopefully it really does take uh, root. So with that, we're going to wrap up there. As always, let me know what you think. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. You know, I enjoy talking to you guys, especially when some real stuff happened this episode. Some real stuff. So, let me know what you guys think. Did I make the right decision? Do you guys think I should have just murdered everyone? Uh, yeah. So with that, until next time, burn bright, everybody.